Well, welcome back to Barry and Blanche. This is going to be a little more technical of a video than usual. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about how I work in the space here in this rig, because obviously I still I have, I have to work a job in order to make money, um, and Val is working her full time job of being a stay at home mom. So uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys my office and how I got my internet set up, and yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> Well, hello. <laughs> Welcome to my super awesome office. Slash bunk room. <laughs> Slash kids bunk room. When the boys are sli not sleeping, I'm in here working. So we put a lock on the door, removable desk, which pops right out and stores away. Um, we got outlets down here for my computer, air conditioning and heat, nice light, and a nice little bay window here that I can, you know, look out into the, into the sunset. <laughs> So this is where I typically work during the day. We use a Sprint Unlimited Hotspot for our internet here in Seago 8000, uh, which is provided by Calix Institute. So they are a nonprofit organization that has an agreement with Sprint where they, when you become a member of theirs, they have an annual and a quarterly membership. You get a, a hotspot and unlimited internet from them as like a perk of being a member. So um, that is what I'm currently using for our primary internet. Um, secondary option in case that ever has an issue for whatever reason and I still need to work. Uh, my phone is a is on Visible, which is Verizon. Um, Visible is a prepaid cell phone provider that includes hotspot and what for, not for uh, twenty five dollars a month if you've got four people on it. That includes the hotspot feature and unlimited data as well. So if our main internet connection goes down for whatever reason, or we're traveling somewhere and we don't have Sprint service, but we have Verizon service, I can operate on and, and work off that. Added in outlets. They have USB built in, so um, Val can, for example, charge her watch and her phone at the same time. Really, really handy to have by your bedside. This is one of the first things I did. Um, when I was putting in these outlets, RV outlets are kind of weird, and then they're, they're boxes, and, and the actual outlets themselves are all one unit. Um, so what I had to do was I actually had to pull out the old outlets, cut off the wiring for them, and then get some shallow boxes that went inside. Works really well, wires up just like a regular house outlet would, so otherwise. And uh, yeah, so that's really convenient. One other thing I wanted to talk about too is uh, if I get tired of working in the broom closet that is my office, my makeshift, my makeshift office, um, if I want to play some video games or I want to hang out with the family, and still work. I have this really nice, comfortable lap desk that I got on Amazon. It's like 30 bucks or something like that. It's got nice uh, foam pads in the bottom, so it sits in your lap. It's got a mouse pad over here, and then a tablet and phone holder as well on the top. So if I need to tether my phone or whatever else, if I'm, you know, again, we're outside of a, a sprint service area, um, we, can, <laughs> we can do that. Um, like I sit here and work. It's nice and comfortable, actually. I, I was kind of skeptical at first when I bought this thing, but um, so far it's been a lifesaver. We have a TCL Roku TV, and one of the wonderful things about Roku TVs is that they support something called private listening. So we have a couple pairs of headphones. Uh, my phone, my phone is a Pixel 3a, so it's got a headphone jack. Val's is Bluetooth only, so I kind of rigged up this little Bluetooth adapter for uh, this set of headphones here for her. So we can both sit out here, and we can put our headphones on, and we can watch a show um, using the app that Roku has. It supports up to four devices at a time, so you can have the audio from the TV be disabled and then it goes to just the headphones that you have plugged in or your phone or whatever you have put into the audio device for that. So we can sit out here and we can watch TV shows and we don't have to worry about disturbing them. All right, so we put and picked the worst day to do this, but we decided to do this anyways today because we're already recording. It's raining outside, but uh, we have this cool thing we wanted to show that might be useful for somebody else with a similar style, style rig. So we found that RV fridges are not super useful. <laughs> um, they're very, very small, as is the freezer compartment. So we ended up getting, putting in our front compartment here. But one of the things that this front compartment's really good for is storage, for your battery, electrical, and whatnot. So I rigged up a 12 volt outlet here on the main power line for the 12 volt system for the, the entire rig. I also added a battery disconnect from other things too, just to upgrade the rig. But one of the things I added was a 12 volt outlet over here, and I added in some spacers in here so that this little mini uh, 12 volt slash 110 volt, whatever you choose to run it as, fridge freezer could keep some, uh, more of our stuff frozen. So we could keep either frozen goods or fridge stuff in here, whichever we prefer. So we keep uh, all of our extra supplies. So if you, 
I didn't want to get like one gallon of milk and I have to go get milk every single week, especially with this whole coronavirus thing going on. Um, so we'd go in and buy like two gallons of milk, put one here and put one in our fridge inside. We'll get drinks and we'll put something out here to get cold and then we'll move them inside. Uh, we can put some uh, extra fruit like apples and those things we need to keep cold. We'll get like two or three bags of those, put two in here and one in, one in the fridge and get front, extra bags of cheese, you know, those sort of things. So, yeah, so we added this in here. Um, it is currently sitting. It actually rests perfectly inside here. I measured, I bought one that was exactly the right size for this compartment. Um, and there's just enough of a gap here where it can breathe on both sides for the compressor as well. So, and then there's actually a vent here already for the battery, which I rigged up to um, allow airflow out so it doesn't get hot in there in the summertime as well. So, it's pretty kind of uh, a little proud of this. It's kind of, kind of a nice little spot for all this stuff to go. So, yeah. Just wanted to share this in case somebody has a similar like little compartment up front and they're not quite sure what to do with the extra space. Um, in the back here you can see my uh, media server and uh, if you look over on the wall over here as well there is the Insego hotspot there. So that device supports up to 15 Wi-Fi devices um, but it also supports a USB tethering as well so you can plug it into a computer and whatnot because I have a Linux media server here that runs all of our like TV shows and movies that we have stored have set up to where the Ethernet port on this guy is bridged so that when I um, need to hardwire something the Insego hotspot is plugged into the computer over USB and this is bridged to the same network so if I need to hardwire anything at all like the TV here or a computer or whatever else from having Wi-Fi issues or whatever that's kind of how it's set up um, when you're using the USB portion and you're bridging it like that you can have as many devices as you want connected to it we regularly get about 50 to 150 megabit down um, where we're at right now which is really really good for a cellular um, the Insego device has got a four stream um, MIMO LTE antenna which basically means it can talk on four channels at once and it bonds them all together to, to quadruple the speed capabilities of LTE so that's what that device is designed to do most phones support one or two Hotspot devices support the four or six or whatever the particular model supports. So that device there is kind of like a higher end device that Sprint offers. So yeah, that gives us reliable internet. Kids can stream Netflix. I can work in the in the hideaway office over in the Nook. Been working pretty well for us. We've also got over here we have our charging station. So I've got a four port USB um, plus one USB C charging station here. The kids, they're currently using a couple of tablets because they're in the they're in the other room to keep them quiet for while we're recording this. I'm used to having a server rack with like a media server and like a firewall and like access points spread out throughout the whole house and everything else. So this has been a little bit of an adjustment for me. I've, I've had to kind of rethink how my IT guy brain works with all this, but uh, simple is good sometimes. It does reduce how much maintenance I've got to do on certain things. and. So, yeah, so when there's less stuff to go wrong, there's a lot less things to troubleshoot, too. So, that's pretty much the whole network and technology overview. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in.